Climate change is said to be a main contributor to the development of Hurricane Barrel, which made landfall at Kariakou on July 1st. Meteorologists say abnormally high sea surface temperatures, as well as the transition out of El Nino to La Nina, are creating a very hurricane-friendly environment in the tropical Atlantic this year. The, today's Keeping It Green takes a look at how climate change is impacting hurricanes. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. According to scientists, this past week we got just a taste of what could become the norm if we fail to reduce global warming. Hurricane Beryl broke records as the strongest hurricane on record for both June and July as it barreled across the Caribbean, Mexico and Texas, leaving destruction in its wake. Within three days, the system moved from a tropical wave to a hurricane and then in 24 hours from a Category 1 hurricane to a Category 5. To put this into context, the North Atlantic hurricane season runs from June to November and usually peaks in September. Many have not considered how climate change will impact the intensity of hurricanes or tropical cyclones. And this is but just one reason why it is imperative that climate action is successful. We are in an extremely critical moment when it comes to the impacts of climate change, the speed scale and the level of devastation that is already taking place as a result of global warming. What this means is that the global process that is set up for governments, for leaders to find solutions to these issues cannot fail. It must not fail. It must rise to the occasion. The process that established the Paris Agreement absolutely needs to deliver. The Met Office here in Trinidad and Tobago has cautioned that the 2024 hurricane season has the potential to be very active and thus has urged citizens to prepare. But what is causing this above normal forecast? The UN's climate body, the IPCC, says it is likely that a higher proportion of tropical cyclones across the globe are reaching Category 3 or above. Warmer oceans mean storms can pick up more energy and this results in higher wind speeds. According to the NOAA, a typical hurricane season will have July water temperatures in the 70s, possibly reaching the low 80s. This season's temperatures are reaching the high 80s and even the low 90s in some parts of the Caribbean. These record temperatures are being attributed to greenhouse gas emissions. It's important to note that a warmer atmosphere can hold more moisture, leading to heavier and prolonged rainfall and increased flooding. And with the faster rate at which glaciers are melting, sea levels are rising, making storm surges more severe and coastal flooding more likely and damaging. With human activity identified as the main cause of climate change to help mitigate the impacts, environmentalists note that major changes need to come from governments and businesses. But again, there are ways individuals can help. Take fewer flights, use less energy, Improve your home's insulation and energy efficiency. Switch to electric vehicles or live car-free. I'm Stacey Ann Providence, keeping it green for TDT News. ecosystems provide the foundation for the sustainability of life on our planet. Various human activities, including pollution, threatens to disrupt the delicate balance of survival of the world's ecosystems, placing many animals at risk of extinction. Pollution from sources such as trash, carbon emissions, oil spills, and pesticides can deplete resources and drive away local animal populations. Climate change also plays a significant role as global warming has led to the increased temperatures, sea levels, and ocean acidity that disrupts an ecosystem's natural balance. We are the cause, and we are the solution. If we do not protect endangered species, we will ultimately fail to protect ourselves. 
Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. At Flow, we're inspired by all the things that go on in your home. Like the efforts you make to keep your connections healthy. Ooh, I love this part. And by your need for a release of endorphins that keeps you young and energetic. And by the couch potato in your home who hates to move more than an inch. So we gave you a remote that you can speak to. House of the Dragon. We were even inspired by this. Mom, the Wi-Fi is down! Never mind! We're also inspired by the young, enthusiastic athlete who understands how technology can improve their game. So, when you sign up at Flow to a fiber-powered network that now comes with gig speeds, you sign up for a network that's inspired by you. No wonder it fits your home so well. 